by the way, it was really a hard time for me even to learn to call my mom, mom. Mm. Yeah, kwa sasa nilikuwa ulikuwa mrefu, nilikuwa sasa had to 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 learn mm. mko anangoja tu maybe tumeenda shopping uliza unataka kitu fly ndio nimesema eh but mimi mwenyewe singe mwili mami eh nimuita mami eh nataka it does not matter maybe right now we are seeing some instability mm. maybe mama is not together with dad you know just go to god and tell him you know god you are my father mm. Welcome to the music stories thank you for always being here i'm sorry it's been a minute since we did this i took a little break and thank you for those who have been reaching out maggie we are seeing music stories we are back with the bank and today in studio we have a wonderful guest graced for this generation so stay tuned don't go nowhere god bless sana let's be blessed together Asante sana kwa kuni, kuni have me here. Kari, <laughs> we are happy to have you at Wema TV. Thank you. Hey, you are mm. looking wonderful. Asante. Glory yeah. to Jesus. So, jitambulishe kwa wasikilizaji wetu watazamaji wa Wema TV. Eh, Wewe ni nani? Kwa majina mimi naitwa Brenda Dama. Mm-hmm. Uh, kwa sasa nitasema nitaongeza daraji manake oh. <laughs> nilikuwa nga Brenda Dama Frank sasa mm. ni Brenda Dama oh, daraji ya <laughs> nikachukua ah. jina ah, nice. <laughs> jina ya bwana mm-hmm. uh, nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana mm-hmm. ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili mm-hmm. uh, lakini kwa kazi zetu za kawaida kawaida mm-hmm. by profession ni procurement officer Proamo. Oh, pro- <laughs> <laughs> Watu wa matendo. Hey. Watu wa matendo so <laughs> after <Okay>. this. Tutaongea. <laughs> <laughs> Tutaongea. <laughs> Your story. Mm. Yes, by the grace, yeah. Mm. Mm. So that's mm. me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So wewe ni mzaliwa wa wapi? Okay. Mm. Ni mimi nimetoka Pwani, mm-hmm. nilizaliwa coast. Ah. Yes, I'm Costeria. Nice. Kule Malindi? Malindi. Ndio nyumbani. Uh-huh. Ya, yeah, nikajipata Nairobi kwa sababu ya shule mm-hmm. na kazi, mm-hmm. ye yeah, ile ku transition, that's you transition unajipata umekuja sasa kwa jiji. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, but nyumbani kabisa ni Malindi. Malindi. Mm-hmm. So ulizaliwa na kulelewa kule Malindi? Ndio. Ilikuwaje kule Malindi when Uh, When growing you were up a young girl how was it growing up in Malindi wow oh growing up it mm. was interesting mm. 
Well, uh, for me, because mm. uh, nilizaliwa tu na baba na mama, mm-hmm. kama vile any other kid. Yes. Mm, but my parents came and separated. Yes. Then mama went to, she moved on. Mm. Now my dad, uh, Kabaki, uko mm. mm. So I can say my, my growing up was a, was a challenge. Mm. So it was very challenging. I remained with my dad. Ooh. But I also got to stay with my mom, mm. Kiasi, here and there. Mm. But I, for the better part, you pray Mariotte ni kakana dad mm. with my stepmoms mm. here and there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean stepmoms? <laughs> your dad, your, your dad ali ipanye le kitu several times. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Neza sema, ali ipanye several times for him, things really didn't work. Mm. Yes. Mm. Whereas my mom, yeah, ali move on, mm. vitu zika work, she yeah. had a stable family. Mm. For my dad, this that other side, I really, challenge. yes, it was a challenge. Mm. I didn't have that stable uh, family for me. Kwa mm. sasa nilikuwa napata stepmother, nakuja. Mm. Wengine walikuwa wazuri, wengine walikuwa wabaya. Mm. Yeah, um, iyo kugro. Sasa nilikuwa na waita, actually I used to call them aunties. Yeah. I called them, because I knew Kukupata. at the back of my mind, my kuna is mama. Yeah. Yes, this is my mom. Mm. So, uh, ilikuwa hivyo changamoto hapa na pale mm. kugrow up as a, as a young girl mm. Mm. so did you manage to go to school vizuri ama pia hiyo ilikuwa challenge i thank god cuz uh, my dad mm. he had a heart for me yeah. in as much as pia sometimes it can be challenging when you're having you know love you know with love relationships yes, yes, yes. sometimes ina zaingiliana pia uhusiano wako na watoto mm. yeah and at some point i experienced that mm. where um one of one of the ladies wasn't so kind to me mm. alikuwa a little bit mean mean oh. here and there but by god's grace mm. somehow hizo mm. shackles zikakuja zika zikaanguka ah. and then she left our lives mm. eh? and then now we moved on to another <laughs> to another, to mama, another mama to another mama mm. yeah so i feel like instab- there was a lot of instability, instability. in my growing up mm. and i kind of had to like grow up haraka mm. iko sababu ni kwa majukumu eh majukumu i was i am the first born and the only now kwa my dad and my mom Aya. in that relationship Whoa. so kwa my dad he considers me an only child oh you mm. are the only yes, child yes friend the whole oh so mm. kwa huu muda ili chukua muda gani sasa ndo your dad maybe akuja kwa stable uh, well i wouldn't really say he got that stability mm. yeah uh, but uh, Ah, naweza sema tu najua pia Mungu kila mtu hapa duniani kuna venye tu Mungu safari yako ime ime imepangiwa yes mm. zingine ni sisi tuchukue masomo mm. you know we mm. get lessons we just pick lessons for, yes. from from it yes. um cuz i wouldn't really say he gained that stability mm. cuz even with these different ladies coming on mm. board and mm. all that but uh, i really just thank god for him that yeah. far and even and god keeping him god alive keeping him today. alive yes yeah. still this far mm. and for me now actually getting a stability mm. transitioning now to oh, be with my, yes that mm. kind of environment mm. which wasn't stable i had to be like a nijisimamie mm. mwenyewe kama kufua by that if there's one task i really hate mm. is washing clothes because <laughs> okay. i had to start washing clothes at a very, very young, young age age yeah hiyo kufua mm. you know is some Nam of those na kupika kujua yeye yeah, ujue hizo vitu haraka so zina yes ujue haraka yeah so i really had to grow up mm. and i felt like most of the most of the times mm. i felt like i became an adult when i was a child yeah Yeah that is for sure and I may ask one question mm. did that make you maybe hate men or maybe hate relationship did that affect you in any way I feared marriage Whoa. and at the moment as we speak you're married at the moment I'm married but yes. I really I really feared marriage yes. I had this high walls. Kwa mm. wanaume like mimi ningekuscrew na kuja ni na kuscrutinize yeah. you know like like <laughs> the funny thing is well even in these old relationships my dad had they were not like uh, violent, violent no. no but iyo, the fact that mimi si kwa napata hiyo stability yeah. I always thought like maybe I wouldn't be able to give stability, stability. to either a relationship or even my child mm. if I'm to have children I would I be able to give them that stability Mm. so nilikuwa ninaogopa men mm. na i had very high walls nilikuwa nimejenga you know Uta, like ukuta like, kubwa yes kwa hiyo ni hapa usipite hapo yeah and so, I, mm. what 
happened ndio sasa ukuje uka transit sasa mm-hmm. ukaweza kukubali maybe relationship mpaka ukaje ukaongea okay so for me mm-hmm. i think um venye sasa nilimaliza class 8 mm-hmm. na kuza uzin malindi mm-hmm. i passed mm-hmm. and i was called to eldoret my yeah. mama was in kisumu mm-hmm. so now that was an opportunity for me to now join the other family oh. Yes so when wow. I joined the other family now where I have my dad mm. my stepdad and yes. my mom mm. the it was by the way, it was really a hard time for me even to learn to call my mom mom mm. yeah cuz sasa nilikuwa nilikuwa mrefu nilikuwa sasa had to 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 learn mm. nilikuwa nangoja tu maybe tumeenda shopping unaweza unataka kitu fly ndo nisema eh but mimi mwenyewe singe mwili mami eh nimuita mami eh nataka mm. and also even my dad my now mm. my step dad mm. i couldn't even call him dad because yeah. now i know this dad yes i have to dad but i know i'm used yes. yes i'm used to that that so i felt like cuz when the step mothers i used to call them aunties mm. you know now you i can we were with uncle yeah we were with uncle but mm. slowly by the grace of god mm. and even them mm. being able to they, you know, loved they loved on me even my stepdad just you know to get and I, this is my daughter so, mm. so that so we knew that, that yes and ye kabisa nice. so now i was able to understand how a family works kumbe si lazima kwamba ikwe watu wawili wakikuja pamoja there is that you know mm. maybe confusion and instability yeah, so mm. from learning from my parents mm. i was able to say oh okay so marriage works yeah, it's, it works. it's a good thing kumbe si mbaya kumbe si mbaya inaweza tu sambara kwa sababu lakini si mbaya Yeah. Mm. but i was just a little bit cautious yeah. though yeah. i was just a little very very cautious mm. thinking maybe it can still happen to me mm. with kama hivo mm. so after i happened on kenda high school mm. and uh, i think nika nikaelewa kwamba easy vitu zina happen and mm. it doesn't mean that mm. if you experience that in your childhood yeah. you have to exploit it kwa hivo pia ah so you yeah. can encourage someone it doesn't sure. matter your what you've been through when you were young yes yeah yako yezi kwa hivo ni kweli yeah yes so it, it does not matter maybe mm. right now we are mm. seeing some instability mm. maybe mama is not together with dad mm. ama maybe you're even grown mm. but you still don't have that stable dad uko na uo uo guys you should overcome and also mm. go, you know just go to god and tell him You know God you're my father. Mm. Yeah and God even as a loving father mm. he will embrace us first that love of God when when it embraces you mm. then you know that atakuletea the right the yeah, right person awesome. even the right as you keep yourself mm. and wait for that. So your history doesn't have to, to come into, into your yes present, you and or... even define your present in a, the negative, negative way. Yeah. It can define us in a positive yeah, way. Yeah, yeah but you just learn from the past. Past, yes. past to be a better person. Yes. Aha uh-huh. so yeah. safari ya muziki ilianza lini? Wa safari ya muziki mm. ilianza uh ndio sema nikimaliza form 4. Mm ndio nilianza safari ya muziki ndio mm. ku record nilingia studio after form four mamangu akaniambia sasa vipi umekuwa ukiandika andika nyimbo mm. actually she knew because mm. when i in as much as i didn't stay with her there's a, a gap a mm. period where i stayed with her maybe for a year or two mm. and the primary teacher told my mama mm. that this girl has talent mm. so she knew she alikuwa ameka the back of yeah. her mind yeah? yeah that this girl mm. akona hiyo hiyo tal- talent mm. so after from four then she she got a loan for me oh. and then she sent me to Nairobi I came to Nairobi for the first time yeah. you know I'm always that grown girl yeah. you know I yeah. didn't even fear I came to Nairobi so and nikakuja Nairobi let's do this mm. yeah, so nikakuja nika record my first album just mm. after from four before joining campus you did an album I did an album after from four Yes. <laughs> How was it? Tell me about it. Which producer did you work with? Ah, uh, alikuwa anaitwa Okay, I'm going to say but I'm fanya hiyo jina this a song called jina lako. Mm. Nimemsahau though he was also like a family friend from far. Mm. But it was a studio in uh, Isili mm. somewhere in yeah, Phase 2 alikuwa anajita Phase 2 mm. production. Eh. Uh-huh. Mm. So what was the challenge? Like how was it recording an album? Alb- recording an album. First mm. I didn't have any experience of being in a studio. Mm. It was my first time I had mm. come and board in his house. He oh. was so gracious to have me. <laughs> I stayed in his house mm. as I recorded that uh, that album. Mm-hmm. And um well I I should say I thank my mom because she believed in me. Yeah. For so even taking a loan. Yeah, she took a loan imagine and I came all the way mm. yes to to do it. It was it was not a walk in the park. Mm. 
because I, uh, in as much as I had few songs, mm. the 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 producer challenged me to write new songs new in the songs. studio. Yeah. Yes. And I and thank God it, it. it was. Yeah. So how how did the album do? How did it perform? Did you like maybe get some airplay or not? Uh, the album didn't do. I wouldn't say it, it didn't do well because mm. okay, defining well. Mm. Or uh, maybe the exposure that I needed yes, at that time, didn't get. I didn't get it. Cause mm. one, once as a student, mm. then because now is now it. I released it after I joined campus first year, mm. yeah. And uh, then mm. I didn't understand anything to do with music marketing. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so you you did your album, then you kept it in the house. <laughs> you didn't even bother to look for a registration or anything. I I, I would say I uh, maybe when I did the first video. Mm. Because I really went out and tried to get one of the big producers then who was producing for very big, mm. very big names. Which producer is that? <laughs> <laughs> Here we mentioned names you know? of the producers. It was, no. It's a music story. This, you know? this city is too hot. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, well, because um, the producer is just one. He's a good, good <laughs> person. I know. Uh-huh. Person. And uh, then they mm. told me they would help me with marketing, mm. but maybe I didn't really understand uh, what they meant. What they meant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because late after we've done the project, then it was like, no, me, I don't market. Oh. So uh, you see, now I can give you somebody and then you can talk now yes. on your side and all that. One thing that I didn't know, and yeah. I really got frustrated because I was a student back yes, then. Yes. Now having maybe, any, maybe you couldn't afford. The I couldn't afford. I that. I couldn't afford, and mm-hmm. also my friends from campus helped me now finance the video. Audio was done by my mama. My mm-hmm. mama. Mm-hmm. Now I couldn't go back to them and tell them, you see, mm-hmm. we, need, we now need now to market this. I told them now too much. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I think I got frustrated at that point. Mm-hmm. I felt like I. Okay, so it's not as easy mm. as I thought. Mm. And uh, also, by then, I didn't understand even YouTube. The yeah. first... <laughs> And then you were just singing and just so singing. Learn. I was learning, uh-huh. and uh, but I had those YouTube. Yes. <laughs> then so, so you I went, went to a friend. No, I told a friend, could you upload this for me on YouTube? So I can go YouTube. I can go YouTube, oh, and no. he's not even a musician. No. <laughs> and apparently, he him to IT. Oh wow! Those are me and the Shangamon. How can it change you? But anyway, that's the price you pay for ignorance. Me. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all right. So so far, how many albums do you have? Uh, so far, it's just that one album mm-hmm. and a number of singles. A number of singles. Yes. So Jani mekuaji. Kuna time you shake pika ukafil. Kuna taka kuacha na historians. Eh yes. What happened? <laughs> Uh, I think uh, after Sasa ni memaliza shule, mm-hmm. I said, God, I will serve you. Even as I'm working, let me do music. So mm-hmm. you spend you know, some savings here and there and you go and produce. Uh, but I think for me, it was, uh, I felt like it's not, I saw I move. I move. I move. I I move. I move. I And then there is this thing people say, yeah. eh? Ati, ngoja uitu. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, so mungu wana ita watu. <laughs> <laughs> Unangonjiki kisauti. Unangonjiki kisauti. Lakini like these people who tell us, ungoja tuitwe. Mm. <laughs> Mbona unangoja? Unangoja wetu. Ama si kuitwa, nimejing na force ama nini, you know. So I think a little, a little bit nika feel ah, wacha nipatie break and that was in uh, I think after I did now uh, Yesu na kupenda. Mm. Yes, nika mm. sasa wacha. Mm. Uh, actually, it's talking about me. Watch, 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 so far, this I'll say Muema, mm. Muema, and I'm singing light now, you know. Yeah. After yeah. how many years? Been there for how long? Oh, been in music 20, I said, Nilingia Studio 2011. Whoa. To, we are in 2022. Mm. So that's like, let's say, 11 months, we are coming. 10. Watch your name. This is the music. Watch your name in Asia. Kindly. Please. <laughs> I beg. I beg. She's just 22 years yes. with a few years of experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so Mwema do imepokelewa vizuri. Yeah, Mwema. What have you done with Mwema? Yenye hukufanya na hizo nyimbo zingine? 
Ah, with Moema trying to seek marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I thank God for people like you. <laughs> my, my, my able. You're you talking to the able yes, marketer. For people, for people, you know, yeah. God bringing you my way. Yes, yes. And also understanding now that marketing that beat, aspect. That we shouldn't, okay, God's favor is really important. Very important. Agreed. But you see, the Bible also says you cannot put on a light and then put it under the, is it under the, you know? Yeah, Uko, yeah. Chini. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have to put it. So you have to, you know, this is a light, mm -hmm. so you have to you have to go a little bit also out of your way mm -hmm. to let the others see the light. Yes. So understanding that bit, because mm -hmm. I think I was a little bit reserved ah. and feeling like marketing iyo ni kutumia mweli. You know, Ulikuwa like Wakiro. Uh, yeah. Kiro. Hey, yeah. my people, we are yes. taking a short break. Then we come back. Nyo tu amiwe i muema. So far in your fika wa. Na kama wewe ni muimbi. Sikiliza. We'll be right back. Asante sana mpenzi mtazamaji kwa kuendelea kutazama music stories. Asante kwa kuwa baraka kwetu. Tunakuenzi na tunakupenda sana mpenzi mtazamaji. Yali ojiri wiki hii. Mkurugenzi mwenye Bim Kurugenzi Grace Kiboy aliweza kufanya bonge la kolabo na mtumishi wa mungu John Praise. Wimbo unaitua Newega. Angalia pale YouTube yake utaweza kumuona anaimba vizuri sana na kumtukuza mungu kwa sababu ya wema ambao mungu ameweza kufanya. Na tukiangalia kwenye matukio mengine, mtumishi wa mungu Pastor Morris aliweza kufanya Crusade pale babadogo. Crusade ambayo iliweza kushitua watu wengi sana kwa sababu aliweza kuubiri na watu 514 wakaweza kumpokea Yesu. Hayo ni matukio mazuri sana yaliyofanyika kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Tukiangalia tena katika matukio mengine hapa Kenya, watumishi wa Mungu watano kutoka Nigeria wameweza kutembea Kenya kwa muda wa miezi miwili. Je, unadhani ni nini Mungu anafanya katika nchi yetu ya Kenya? Na kama haujaweza kuangalia na kujua ya kwamba Mungu anatenda jambo jipya, tafadhali na kuomba. Simama wima, simama vizuri katika huduma ili ukaweze kujua, ukaweze kuhisia jambo jipya lenye Mungu anaweza kutenda katika wakati na majira kama haya. Mungu akubariki na akutende mema. Endelea kuangalia Music Stories. Tunakupenda, tunakuenzi. Asante. Thank you for being here with us. We are back and dada hapa kutoka Mombasani leo mnasikia Kiswahili changu kimenoga. Ehe, mtumishi wa Mungu. Mwema imefanya vizuri. So how are we doing so far? <laughs> yeah, so na kubuka tuko tunasema mm. ilikuwa kiroho. So ilikuwa kiroho, ilikuwa kiroho eh, sana. Sana. Sana nikwa... marketing si ya Jesus. Ah, ya pana, hiyo ni una... Nasema Jesus sa nene. Unaenda kwa mwili sana dada. <laughs> <laughs> but sayi ni melewa. Mm. Ya, ni melewa. Kama evangelism. Yes, mm. yes. Hata niliona the reason why hata pastors wanaikanga posters. Yes, ndio ili watu waeze kujua. Eh. Eh, so ule ujumbe unafaa kufikia wengi we can we should use all means possible yes. vile Mungu ametuwezesha mm. tufanye na yeye pia afanye ile pati yake. Ya yeah, so so far so good mwema imepata reception nzuri. Mm. Asante mm. na shukuru pia kwa watu ambao wamenishika mkono yeah. kama you as a music promoter yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah I really thank God for and that. And your producer for the video also has been very supportive. He is. <laughs> yes. And also by the also the audio producer. So the that's me one Jackie B they've done Jackie it. B. But yeah, when wow. kazi na jina kubwa kubwa. What you Cheza na jamani kwenye beat ya Jackie B. Yes. Yeah. It's also sure. good as a um, you as a minister, yeah. you can advise your fellow artists. Mm -hmm. It's good to work with a good audio producer and a video producer. Yes. Yes. That's very important. Have you seen the results? Yes, because when you share mm. with the you DJ, eh, yes, eh, eh, and your quality yeah. tick. tick. I a video, by the way, by God's grace, mm. Moema has been played. It's being played on Tress. Imagine. Tress is, you know, it's in, so I thank God because mm. that means the quality is tick. Yes, Google they recognize it. Yeah. So yeah. I bless God for that. Yeah. So it's important we really try and give quality. Ndoto mm. siambiwe, oh, ujumbe ni mzuri, lakini. Quality, you're lacking. So we shouldn't give them an excuse. Mm. Yeah, was he saying? Because I'm a quality. Let's try our mm. best and mm. just, yeah. yeah. And, and also as a minister, you, you can bear witness, yeah, Komba. It's good when you dress well. Yes or no? Very true. Mm. We dress your address. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because 
you can be telling people Yesu anavalisha nguo. Mm-hmm. Na wewe mwenyewe umekuja na nguo haiko. Aha. Lazima yeah. lazima tuone. <laughs> lazima <laughs> tuone kwa Yesu. Unaambia watu Yesu anapeana kwa hiyo wewe mwenyewe Yeah, we try. We yeah. try. Yes, mm-hmm. you try your best. You try your best. Yes, and look so, the part. So, do you have somebody maybe mentoring you or the people you're mentoring? Uh, yeah, I will say that people are mentoring those who come to me. Mm. Maybe they've not told me direct, but they come to me. Mm. Dama, how do you go about this? Mm. How do you go about that? Yeah. And uh, in terms of me being mentored, I would say career-wise, mm. there's someone mentoring me. But in terms of music, mm. um, I'm here to get... Sijui kama ni mimi ndo sijaona mama ama baba wakuni mentor, but it feels like a little bit... Who do you look up to maybe? Uh, there are so many mm. yeah i think i i love the work like evelyn is doing mm. the work that sister Eunice injury mm. moji you know mm. some of those people who are really mm. going out of their way to lift the name of yeah. jesus yeah and your style is your style of music is different kiasi mm-hmm. what inspired that uh i think um Right now, mm. in fact, I never used to do that kind of music because mm. from the album that I did, mm. there was a little bit more of worship kind mm. of, uh, mm. and then I felt like sasa sisi wote pia tukimba worship na kuna wale vijana pia wanahitaji kusikia you need to reach the you different, different, audience. Yes, reach yes. The different mm. audience. Mm. So with this coming back, I decided to try different genres mm. that at least we can reach out to the young people so that they can embrace gospel music. Mm. So the message is there and mm. also the style should be Yeah. Mm. The same should be there. Yes. There's been an issue between pastors and gospel ministers. Mm. You find a pastor calling a gospel minister. Mm. Mm. What can you say about that? <laughs> Have you ever found yourself in such a scenario? Maybe you um, call ministers uh-huh. and then help them to that. I don't know. It's yes. Okay, Mungu atubariki. Amen. Lakini Mungu atubariki lakini unajua kwenda studio Jackie mwambia Mungu akubariki. Odi yule video producer stamwambia Mungu akubariki. So I think uh, for me it's a little bit discouraging. Eh? Mm. Not that you've come to do it for the money, but if the money is coming and we are able to do more. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. even for ministry, ministry is money. If, even mm. for me coming here, yes. you know, you need, you need a transport, you yes. need all those things. So I feel like if maybe our pastors, mm. you know, those who call these gospel musicians to come and they should also mm. at least stretch. Mm. Yeah. Stretch, bless them. Not just God bless you, yeah. but mpatie kitu. Yeah, mpatie na kanoti. Manaki mm. anahitaji hiyo noti ya songe pale, ya toke huko ama pia kuingia studio and yes, all that. Yes. So I think that culture of God bless should yes. we really try and change mm-hmm. and appreciate our gospel and embrace them also financially embracing them. Financially. Embrace them financially. <laughs> yes. Maybe there is someone maybe who is going through life mm-hmm. difficulties. Yeah. What can you tell this person? Uh, I would say hold on. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Help is on the way. Mm-hmm. Like uh, in my this song, mm. Lijejua Mvua. Mm. I didn't sing it because I was at a very good place. Mm. I sang it from a place where I really needed, you know, I needed God. Oh, you are, you, you are come through. Mm. So uh, God at a come through. Mm. Yeah. If you're listening to me, God mm. is not a, he's not a man that he mm. should lie, nor mm. a son of man. Sometimes it takes too long. Sometimes you feel like it's this and then the, the next mm. thing. You're here and then, you, you know, it's like, like this like that mm. but hold on don't give up on god because mm. he's not going to give up on you never will he give up on you mm. so i would say usife moyo nice yeah. and uh, do do we have another project coming up oh uh-huh. yes there's another project coming up yes uh soon ah, nice. mm. so people should look out Yeah, on YouTube. Is it a worship song? Ama unatu surprise to God? No, as is it. Wacha ni wacha you are surprised. To God. But it is something good. I can't wait yes. to get it. It has blessed me, so I know mm. it will be a blessing. It will be a blessing to, yes. to, to people. Yeah. Ah, so maybe where do we find you? Uh, you can find on YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, Brenda Dama, mm-hmm. and then Boomplay, mm-hmm. Spotify, 
Apple Music mm. or iTunes, hizo zote mm. ni Brenda Dama. So on all across all those platforms. Now that you mentioned uh, Spotify na Boomplay, you reminded me of something. Yeah. Tell an artist how important it is for their music to be on Spotify. Okay. Uh, kuna wale wameokoka sana wanasema hizo platform wise yet. Sahi, mm. it's important people to know that um mm. At the moment, everything is going digital. Yes. CDs, you, you, you know, the CDs mm. we used to sell, 100, 200, they are not there anymore. Mm. So the only way that your music can, I mean, can be accessed mm. is through those digital platforms. Mm. So here on your CD, mm. so you get discovered there mm. and people mm. get to listen to your music. Mm. And definitely as you keep on growing, you're also able to earn mm. and also keep on doing uh, music. Yes. So it's important for all musicians all to be on those all platforms. Those platforms. Yes. Uh, one last uh, game. If you're given a uh, multiple choice for, of people you can do a collab with, okay? Mm -hmm. You'll be given Guardian Angel mm -hmm. and then you'll be given Siokau mm -hmm. and then 2020. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be given Eunice Njeri. Mm -hmm. Among those, who can you choose? Wow. <laughs> oh, all of them are very good in their own way and yeah. they're doing great. Mm -hmm. They're influencing them, I mean, in their own way. Yes. They're doing, doing, they are shining in their own space. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say I can choose because mm -hmm. honestly, right now, it's, um, I'm really trusting God to guide me to the next thing. Yes. So I can't say this one mm -hmm. or that one because mm -hmm. it depends on which season and what God wants me to accomplish at that so point. So God is December all... 2020? Eh, hey. nayo nayo. Eh, nayo nayo. <laughs> Akisema ni, by the way, you yeah. know, the thing is, yeah. sometimes we as men, we may look at something and yeah. say, this is this and this is that. You mm. know, we always have that. But if God guides me to sing with her, mm. I will go and sing with her. Yeah. Provided, definitely, mm. it has to be about the gospel. Definitely. Because God can use anyone, anything, mm. Mm. yeah. And so, anytime. yeah. Anytime. Anytime, mm. yeah. So I'll be... Glad to work with any of those. They are amazing. They're all amazing in their own way. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Hey, I've never received such a wonderful answer. So uh -huh. your latest song is Muema, right? Muema. How does it go? Give us... Uh... Well, nimejaribu kwa nguvu ama mnataka chorus. Eh, <laughs> nimejaribu kwa nguvu zangu nikamwamini mwanadamu akanifeli. Hey. Yeah. Nimejaribu kwa nguvu zangu nimeshindwa nikamwamini mwanadamu akanifeli. Naja kwako baba msaada wa uko kwako peke sina mwingine ila wewe bwana ngome imara nitashinda kwako wewe wani wazi ya mema wani fanyi ya mema wewe ni mema wewe wani wazi ya mema wani fanyi ya mema wewe ni mema umema <laughs> guys this is how we sign out the music stories you've had the vocal mimi ni wa shout unto the lord that is where we grow <laughs> the line and today we've had Brenda Dama in studio when she releases the new song to Tamleta tena hapa akaweze ku eh we must have her here again and again she's just a vibe thank you so much for coming and you are a blessing thank you so much for having me mm -hmm. god bless you hey, yeah. she is a lovely person you've heard she's been through life she's god has brought her this far it can only be god so if you're there and you want to give up please don't if you're there you're thinking of hanging yourself kitu tu unaweza hang ni nguo zika okay but don't hang up don't lose hope god has a great plan for your life god and akona mpango ngoja tu kidogo bado kidogo tu then god atakam through some of us if we give you our stories where we've come from man uta utashangaa lakini mungu amekuwa mwaminifu so if you're a singer keep singing 
Keep singing for the Lord. I keep repeating. Keep singing for the Lord. Yeah. Sing the goodness of God. Sing yeah. the love of God. Usiende kwa Mungu kushtaki watu sijui kwa umefanya nini na ma problems. Just love on God. Let's keep on supporting one another. If you're there, you know, you have my number. Somebody is asking you, they want to distribute the music. You're refusing to give them my number. Wewe na mchawi, there's no big difference. After that, you'll glorify, you'll graduate to be a witch. Help your friend be there for the brother. Mungu wa bariki na watende mwena. Keep watching music stories. I'm your girl, Mike. Very nice. God of the